Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and oh, do I have a sneak peek for you. First of all, I want you to, of course, recognize this back here. We've talked about this before, the brand new Wolverine exhibit here at the zoo. And of course, you can imagine there's gonna be somebody living in here. Well, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at the first one. Take a look at her. This is Amari. She's a one-year-old, of course, Wolverine. What a beautiful animal she is. Now remind, I have to remind you, she's a little scared because she just came to us from a whole other country, Finland. She actually made the journey and she's actually got another one, her, a buddy coming from Sweden and well, he'll be here relatively soon as well. But the cool thing about these Wolverines is that they are spectacular animals that we don't know that much about. We do know a few things. They are part of the mustelid family. You may remember me talking about mustelids when we talked about those baby otters. Must lids like skunks, otters, weasels, things like that. And remember, they kind of stink. That's kind of what makes them a mustelid. In fact, the wolverine is often called a skunk cat or even a nasty cat because, get this, wolverines can be mean. They are known for taking grizzly bears off of kills. Yeah, they're not afraid to go after a grizzly bear. And get this, they only get to be about 50 pounds despite that small size, they've got a little bit of an attitude. Now, the cool thing about wolverines is that they're primarily scavengers, so that means they usually look for dead animals up on the mountains that they're found in. However, it doesn't mean that they cannot kill other animals. They are predators, so they can take down other animals like beavers, even otters, and weasels, and things like that. Now, believe it or not, even though they are so fierce, they do have a predator, and their main predator of all things, wolves. They have to worry about those, of course, well, the wolves, uh, eating a wolverine, never a good thing if you're a wolverine. And last but not least, my favorite thing about wolverines is that in their mouth, back in the back, they've got a special tooth that's actually turned and it faces the inside of their mouth. It's actually there, it's built to eat frozen meat. It's a special tooth that allows them to tear completely frozen meat because up in the mountains where they're found, it gets cold, that meat gets frozen, they have no microwave to warm it up, so guess what? They have to use that tooth. That is so cool. So guys, we are so excited. Hopefully in a couple weeks, these guys will be on exhibit for all of you to see and wonder how beautiful they really are. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at the zoo.